Friends and Meisters, welcome back to more Danganron Batuga by Despair. Is this already moving? If so, that'd be awesome. Hey. I mean, it's not vibrating at all, right? This is probably a really high performance elevator. If it's not vibrating all that much. Maybe it's not actually moving. Alright, let's open the door and make sure. Not. You cannot, that is too dangerous. After staying inside the vibra er, vibration-free elevator, eventually the door in front of us suddenly opened. It appears we've arrived at our destination. So, this is a grape house. Mm. No matter where I look, everything is plastered with grape patterns. Oh, this is just as bad as strawberry house. I was already fed up with the strawberry patterns, but this is also unpleasant. Welcome! Okay, welcome to Grape House! Now then, allow me to explain the Grape House! What? Ta-da! This is the Grape House in its entirety! So, let's start exploiting the first floor! Ahem! Aside from the fact that there's no final dead room, it's basically no different than Strawberry House! Do you like how there's a strawberry hole over there? There's a grape hole on the other side! When you go through Grape Hole, that means there's a Grape Tower! The second floor of Grape House is the same as the second floor of Strawberry House! There are five guest rooms of different types, along with a relaxing lounge. But the main attraction of Grape House is obviously the third floor! The Monokuma Archive! Everyone loves the Monokuma Archive! If you want to know about my proud accomplishments and contributions, feel free to study the literature here! It's all about me, of course! Now then, this concludes the tour! I believe it'll be difficult to understand if I just explain with words. So you should all use your own two feet to check out the inside of the building. Hmm? That's all for me. Any questions? Like, I'm starting to get hungry. Where's the food at anyways? Huh? Hmm. Is that necessary? Hey. What are you saying? Of course it is. But it's supposed to be an escape game. So how can there be any tension if there's no time limit? So, I've decided to use your stomachs as a time limit. Don't tell me. What do you mean? In other words. Well, simply put. <laughs> It means kill someone before you starve to death! Lies! What the heck? <laughs> Boo -hoo -hoo -hoo. If you're planning to kill someone, I highly recommend you make your kill as soon as possible! <laughs> It'll be too late if you get so weak you have no energy left to kill! Hey! Hey, hold on! Huh? Starve? Damn it! How much of this are we supposed to take until he's satisfied? Uh, was he serious about being no food? I don't want that. No way, that's the one thing I don't want. I don't mind starving as long as I can eat. Just let me eat already. Uh, that's kind of contradicting. You can't starve if you're eating. Jeez. As soon as she learned there was no food, she was overcome by hunger. Obsessions are truly annoying. But I at least try to stay calm. Now's not the time for you to panic. Well, being loud here isn't going to help us. So for now, we should explore the inside of this building too. Right. After all, if you don't give up, you're sure to find hope. Isn't that right, Fuyuhiko? Huh? Yeah, that's right. All right. Let's get started. The same pairing as before is fine, right? Hey, hey, hey! Uh, hold on, this time around I really want to pair up with Sonya! Like... She already left with Gundam. Mm -hmm. Ah! Looks like you're being avoided, not just rejected. Ah! Hey. Kazuichi, I understand that you're feeling down, but we better get along. Damn right. Akane, you too? How much longer are you going to stay shocked? Come on, let's go. Heavy steps, everyone left to explore Grape House. Now then, where shall we start? Since we're on the first floor, well, it might be okay if we start with Grape Tower. Hmm, so you're saying there's, er, you're going to start with the most suspicious place? Alright, let's start with the Grape Tower. 
Let's start with the Grape Tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nekomaru. You have fun screaming. Anyway, let's find the exit. Damn it, there's no way I'm going to let myself starve to death here. These people die when they starve to death, damn it. As he said, let's explore Grape Hall. Grape Tower is beyond this door, right? Just look at Strawberry Hall. I only need to press this button. Alright, leave it to me. I'll press that button with gusto. Nakamura raised his voice and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. <laughs> it's not opening! Well, that's weird. When we were at Strawberry Hall, this should have opened. Don't tell me it's out of order! Fine. <laughs> oh no! Find time for it to break down! I thought he said he was gonna break it down. Well, it obviously shouldn't. Drunk. Hmm, did you hear something? And that's when Nekomaru started shouting. Oh. The door opened. But when was that, or what was that pause just now? Why didn't the door open right away? So this is Grape Tower. Hmm, the structure of this building doesn't seem all that different compared to Strawberry Tower. Yeah, you're right. The building is the same circular shape, and the ceiling is just as high and hard to make out. However, this wall is green. Strawberry Tower's wall is red. Well, yes, that's the obvious difference. Well, speaking of different, there's something blatantly different over there. It's not a grape, it's a strawberry. On the Grape Tower door at the far back, there's a strawberry image on there. A strawberry image inside Grape Tower? That sounds complicated. It's like the opposite of Strawberry Tower. As I recall, there should have been a grape image on the far back door of Strawberry Tower. Hmm? So on Strawberry side, there's a grape door, and on the grape side, there's a strawberry door. That's even more complicated. <laughs> However, this time, this door might connect to the outside. I see. It's obvious by looking at this map, since there's nothing beyond the far back door of Grape House. <laughs> if so, the only thing we need to do is try it. Hold it. Hold it. I heard what you guys were discussing, but it'd be pointless to even try, I think. What'd you say? Before we get to that, why are we here? Or why are you here, Chiaki? Weren't you with Nagito and Kazuichi? Mm. It's exhausting to be around those two. <laughs> so you ran away. I don't blame her. Well? Um, my door doesn't lead outside, I think. It's pointless to even try it out. Definitely. Definitely, you say? It's rare for Chiaki to be that certain. I have a good reason for that. I think I found out the secret of the Funhouse's structure. The structure, or the secret of the structure. Want me to tell you? Want me to tell you? Well, do you want me to explain it to you? Well, pay close attention to each house's relationship to its respective tower. Hey, hey. First, try to remember the first floor of Strawberry House. In the elevator, Strawberry Hall is on your left-hand side, right? If you walk along it, you'll end up at Strawberry Tower, right? See? On the other hand, Grape House. From the elevator, Grape Hell is on your right-hand side, right? If you walk along it, you'll end up at Grape Tower, right? Um. No, here comes the main point. With those two different buildings... Oh. Ah, so you were all here all along! Hey, hey! Hey, Chiaki, don't go running off on your own! Hey. Disappeared so suddenly, I was worried about you. Kazuichi Nagito. Thanks for your disappearance. I was left all alone with Nagito. That's horrifying. Man. Huh? Was that annoying for you? That's right. Hell yeah, it was. I didn't want to be alone with a creep like you. This is troubling. I see, so it's not just Hajime. You don't trust me either. Huh. Such a shame, Kazuichi. Hey. hey, are you okay? Have you stopped trusting other humans? Shut up! Shut up! Well, yeah, thanks to you, bastard. <laughs> huh? huh? Oh, you all came. Good timing. We didn't have to waste any time gathering people. Huh? I was quick. I thought your investigations would take more time. Oh, yeah. There aren't many areas to search, and we didn't find any good clues. Right now, the only thing I found out is... I There's seriously no food all. anywhere. This ain't funny at all. Damn it. I I've heard that it's super painful to die from starvation. Before that happens, why don't we, you know... The hamsters that Gundam scaries around. We're not gonna eat hamsters. You insolent fool! You imbecile! What are you applying? I'm sorry, Miss Sonia. It was close. Kazuichi, you should be grateful to Sonia. 
If you'd gotten your hands on my four Dark Devas of Destruction, your body would have incinerated by, or would have been incinerated by the Hellfire. Hey, hey. But are the hamsters going to be okay without food? Fortunately, the flowers blooming in Strawberry House Indoor Park are cursed flowers from Hell's Garden. As long as those seeds are there, the four Dark Devas of Destruction shall not lose a single hit point. <laughs> I'm relieved to hear that. Oh. Now then, let's listen to your reports and see what you guys have found. Personally, I'd rather let Chiaki continue her talk, but... Oh well, I should listen to what everyone else has to say. Now then. It is fine if Gundam, Fuyihiko, and I represent our teams and give their reports. Damn right. Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> hmm. Rejoice, mongrels. I've discovered something that you fiends will be happy to hear about. Of course! Yes, our team's discovery is number one. We should not lose. I think their priorities are off slightly. Well, can I talk to Chayaki first? Or are they force me to listen to the other? Okay. Oh, yeah, we gotta listen to everyone else. Fuyihiko, you're Damn up first. Right. I'm sure the others already know, but let me tell you just in case. The second floor of Grey Pills also has guest rooms similar to the ones on the second floor of Strawberry House. Hm. But instead of being covered with strawberry patterns, they're covered with grape patterns. Also, also like the guest rooms, there's a similar lounge here as well. There's also a single phone in the lounge too. However, instead of the grape button that was on the phone in Strawberry House's lounge, there's a strawberry button on the phone in Grape House's lounge. Ideally, they'll call each other. Now, I'm just guessing at this point, but it's possible that we can use those two phones to communicate with each other. For sure. So the picture on the button shows each, or where each phone connects to. The picture on the button shows where each phone connects to. That's probably it. Same with the doors is what I'm imagining. It's probably what Chiaki was trying to say. Oh yes, I don't need to look at the lights. <laughs> now then, I shall present to you my discovery. I want to let you say such nonsense like I forgot. Monokuma said it himself before we arrived here. He said there are ship parts in the funhouse. Gotta be! Kazuichi and you lowly humans. Fall to your knees and show your gratitude to me, the overlord of ice. Of the destroyed world of death. Feast your eyes on this. <laughs> Behold, a motor, it's a ship part. Based on its extremely snarl size, isn't that? Uh, that's just a radio control toy! Allow me to tell you a little old story. I was born as a result of a union between a human and a demon. My existence was shunned by both races. Perhaps it's because nobody has ever brought me a, or bought me a toy before, but I believe this is truly remarkable. Shut up! Shut up! I'm not asking you about that! You mean the ship part you found was just some radio controlled toy? Loser! I totally got tricked! Never said a single word about the ship being real, stupid idiot moron! <laughs> you asshole! He's right though! Ah! My face! <laughs> Jesus Christ! It gets me every time! Heh. <laughs> Looks like we don't even have the strength to get upset. Mm. Might be better if we leave him alone for a while. So it was definitely a waste of time to believe Monokuma. If so, what he said about our student profiles, or profiles might be a lie too. But our situation is getting so grim that I can't really focus on that right now. <sighs> it's getting worse by the minute. Now then. Allow me to give you a brief report. Since I'm the one who made this discovery, it's just as important as I am. Which means it's not that important at all. Hey, bastard! Just hurry up and say it already. Well, it's about the third floor of Grape House. See? Do you remember what Monokuma said about a Monokuma archive on the third floor? I actually tried to go there. Jeez. Like the name suggests, it was an archive full of stuff about Monokuma. It reminded me of those celebrities who built their memorial houses in their hometown. Hmm. Then it looks like we don't ever need to go in there ever. Actually. Uh, also, I found a lost child at the Monokuma archive. A lost yes. child? Huh? Where did she hey. go? Hey, don't just hide, come on out! <laughs> oh, Monami. <laughs> Hello! So the last child was you. Right? That's how people react, right? Well, I had a general idea of how you would all react. <laughs> it's okay, I won't be depressed anymore. I'm used to being treated so poorly. 
<laughs> How sad. So sad to get used to it. She seems a little tense. Um, did Monokuma bring you here as well, Monami? <laughs> yes, I'm so ashamed of myself for getting carelessly tricked by him. My oh. failure as a teacher. I have no right to guide everyone. Like... Nobody here considers you a teacher to begin with. But I'm honestly happy that you're here. <laughs> hey, are you a complete stuffed animal? Is there any part of you left that's still rabbit meat? Oh no! I'm expected to be food! Hey, hey! I don't think stuffing will help. Or well, not that type of stuffing. Um, that was the last report, right? Then is it okay if I go now? Please continue. This is what you mentioned earlier, right? About the structure of the fun house. Let me ask. The structure of the fun house? Well? Well, I've come to a conclusion. The grape tower that we're in currently, and the strawberry tower we were in earlier, I think they're actually the same building. Hmm. The two towers are the same building, you say? I see. What makes you think of that? Their positions. Well? Inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left when you walk, er, when your back is facing the elevator, right? Um. But inside Grape House, the Grape Hall is on your right when your back is facing the elevator, right? If so, if we think about it and put those two things together, the two towers are the same building, and each house connects to the center. That's the building structure that comes to mind. Hmm. What? Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are the same building? But that might be a possibility. Or oh, that is a wrong voice, but that might be a possibility. Come on, take a look at that door. Isn't that strawberry image the same one that's on the elevator and telephone? And in the same way, wouldn't that image on the door also be showing where it leads to? I see. I see, if that's the case, it would mean that Strawberry House is beyond the door of the strawberry image on it. Um. As well as the opposite, the grape door that was on it, Strawberry Tower would lead to Grape House. Meaning, we opened the Grape Hall door when we came in here. So. Meaning, depending on which door we use, this tower changed to either Strawberry Tower or Grape Tower. Perhaps... Which means, when you look at the other side of the Grape Hall door that we used to come in here... Yep. Yep, the Grape Picture should actually be on here. That explains why it took a minute to open. And all we gotta do is confirm it, right? If we can close that door from the other side. That might be impossible. Huh? Impossible? Why? Well, Hajime and Nekumaru were the first ones to enter Grape Tower, right? What's wrong with that? When you two entered Grape Tower from Grape Hall, didn't it take a while for the door to open after you pressed the button? Hmm? So, just as I assumed, how'd you... how'd you know? When I was walking around by myself, I went to the Strawberry House for a while. I felt like there was so still something I missed when suddenly, the Strawberry Hall door automatically closed in front of me. Huh? The door automatically closed? What? And afterwards, no matter how much I pressed the button, the Strawberry Hall door wouldn't open. But why? Perhaps. The doors to Strawberry Tower, Grape Tower, must be designed so that only one can open at a time. See? I mean, if both doors open at the same time, we'd be, or it'd be easy to find out that both towers are the same building. If that happens, it wouldn't be a fun house anymore, right? Then, the reason Strawberry Hall door automatically closed in front of you... So what I mean is... Was it because we opened the Grape Hall door? When that happened, the Grape Hall door didn't open because it was waiting for Strawberry Hall's door to close. If you think about it like that, it makes sense, right? Like you're saying, all this stuff I don't get, but aren't you forgetting the most basic problem? The color of the walls in Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are different, you know? There's no way they're the same building. Don't know? You didn't notice. They're just lights on the floor being shined on the wall. Those are easily changed. By reflecting a colored light onto a white wall, it makes it look like the wall color has changed. Wait. Then, what about the picture on the floor? Is that different too? Um. Maybe the floor is just a screen and the picture is being projected from beneath the floor. In fact, when you look at it closely, it's not a picture that was actually drawn on the floor. I oh, I see. Then it's safe to say that the same building, right? What? But this is a very important problem, so isn't it better if we test it out? Test? Um. For example, we should leave something behind here, and we'll all go to Strawberry what? Tower. If it's still there, we can conclude that they're the same building, right? I see. Want me to stay then? Hold on! No, that's impossible. There's a sense of preventing that. Ah, oh, see? 
answer. Don't you feel it? There are countless sensors plastered all over the tower's walls and floors. Or the tower's walls and floors. We can't... Or why can't you notice that? Hey. I'm more surprised that you actually noticed them. My guess is that sensor can probably detect any movement within the tower. When it reacts, it prevents the door from opening. I know there'd at least be something like that. By the way, how good is that sensor's performance? It's quite high performance. It seems that it can detect your heartbeats and breathing patterns. Then, it'd probably be a complete, or er, being completely impossible for someone to try to stay behind. Hey, hey! What about Nekomaru? He's a heartless robot. <laughs> Have a motor running inside me is as good as any human heart. But if you're in sleep mode, that function will come to a stop too, right? Sheesh. Like you said, if I cease all function with sleep mode, the sensor won't detect it, but... Machine. Do you need to go that far to test it? I won't tolerate any robo pre prejudice. <laughs> Sorry, you're right. Once I enter sleep mode, I will not gain consciousness until the good night switch is pressed again. Or if my chest alarm goes off. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about being left alone in that state. It's far too dangerous, even as an experiment, it is possible that we might violate the laws of robotics. Hey, hey. Then why don't we just use this? My student handbook, yes, and an amna object's probably the safest bet. I leave this handbook here, and we'll all move over to the strawberry tower. And if by chance the handbook is still there, we can safely assume that two doors are the same, right? <laughs> or the two towers are the same. You're right, let's try this. Makes more sense than leaving Nekumaru here. <laughs> We left behind Chiaki's e handbook right away. Then we left Grape Tower and made our way to Strawberry Tower. Well, I guess back to Strawberry Tower we go. Elevator ride time. I see, I see. I must say, this elevator is rather quiet. It's like the Toad's Wart, or wait, hey. never mind. Toad's Wart! What you talking about? Doesn't feel like we're moving extremely fast. It seems it's moving very slowly. If so, the two houses might be surprisingly close. The two towers are connected in the middle. The distance between them shouldn't be that much. Alright, let's head over to Strawberry Tower. Well, maybe that's done on purpose too. That would make more sense. Anyhow, off we go. <laughs> <laughs> now then, let's see what the result awaits us. Have you fiends made up your minds? Don't forget to pray to your god. Well, it's not like I have a god to pray to anyway. My name is I already know, god has been wiped out by my very own hand. <laughs> Chiaki? If we go inside Strawberry Tower from the door in Strawberry Hall, yeah, she's just saying, let's go. Hurry it up, Slowpoke. Hey, hey. Stay back. Wait, step aside, you fiends. What? Emissary of evil. Ancient contract. The time has come to lend me your aid. Go, my four dark devas of destruction! Fierce through. Supernova Silver Fox Sandy. So you had the hamster press the button? Oh my god. I had to press the button. <laughs> Truly, this is the. <laughs> Why? Truly, this is the skyline. Lamentation art of the demon mouse. Ha ha ha! Soon the door of destiny shall open. Wow, wow amazing! Your hamsters are truly skilled. So you have a I see your eyes managed to follow Sandy's movements, as expected of the Dark Lady. You have my praise. Amazing! Amazing! Truly amazing! You must have a strong, trusting relationship with them. Thank you. Huh? <laughs> you didn't need to bother making your hamster press it. Just as I thought, it's taking a while to open. Considering what we discussed earlier, the sensor will confirm that nothing is moving inside the tower, then wait for the other door to close. At that moment, I heard a loud sound from the other side of the door. Ah, we were right. Just connected. My! Ah, look over there! The moment we set foot inside Strawberry Tower, Sonia raised her voice. When I looked where she was pointing... It's there, the handbook. Yep. Yep, there's no doubt. This is my student handbook. <gasps> if the handbook Chiaki left in Grape Tower is here, then that means <laughs> It seems that we were er, it seems that we've confirmed it. We were right. Yep. 
Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the same building. And depending on whether you enter from Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall, the tower becomes either Strawberry Tower or Grape Tower. Huh? Then that door over there with the grape image on it. I see. It's not the exit, but it appears to be connected to Grape House's Grape Hall. This is troubling. But it also means that we have no idea where the exit is. Well, I guess I can't be helped. There's no way we'd actually find the exit that easily. Well, anyways, I'm surprised. I can't believe you already uncovered a secret like this. As expected of Chiaki, you're truly amazing. Normally, all you do is stare into space, but at a time like this, you really pull through for us. However... However, why was this building designed so strangely? So evil! That's probably because no reason! That's simply because it's a fun house! That's all the reason Monokuma needs! I'm Hui again. I'm Monami! Why didn't you forget about me already? <laughs> that reminds me, whatever happened to the Monokuma announcement? Huh? What do you mean? Shushing. According to my internal clock, it's already past 10 o'clock. Oh my. Or 10 p.m. Huh. Is it that time already? Despite that, why hasn't there been a Monokuma announcement? Monokuma! Allow me the answer! Every single day up until now, I hate to consistently let her. I have consistently let you know when it's morning and night on the island. Thanks to that, you've been able to live a normal life. You guys. you guys mistake me for some kind of petty alarm clock? Oh well, it's totally true that I'm pretty... But... Hey, what are you trying to say? For the time being, the Monokuma announcements are on a hiatus! We can't go inside and there are no windows here, so it's not like it matters if it's morning or night. Also, I've been thinking of a little something to replace the Monokuma announcement. I don't like this. What's wrong with him? Well, if there's no announcements, we can just look at the clock. Um... Both Strawberry House and Grape House have clocks in their first floor lounges. <laughs> Even if I don't have a clock, or look at a clock, I have my internal clock, so there's no problem for me anyway. <laughs> It's already past 10 p.m., right? I'm starting to feel sleepy after hearing that. Since we don't have any food, it might be better if we rest and conserve our energy. For now, let's just decide on our room assignments. Room assignments? Each house has five guest rooms, so we should first decide who's going to stay in which house. Hmm, why don't we make things simple and split them between the boys and the girls? Yes, let us do that. Man. That's a bummer, but well, I guess it makes sense. Two. Then ladies first. Now then, now then kittens, scared. choose which house you would like. Um, Let's choose Grape House. Starting at a, or at, or staring at a red room is just going to strain my eyes. And the man shall have Strawberry House. Strawberry men are known for passion. Hey. Oh no. Also, each house has guest rooms varied in quality, right? Damn right. Wasn't it two deluxe rooms, one standard room, and two crummy rooms? For now. And we need to decide those next, huh? There are only five rooms in each house, right? Then one guy will be left over. Then that means there's only one appropriate way to settle this. Appropriate way? Rock, paper, scissors, of course. Suddenly, the rock, paper, scissors batter began between six guys. And the results... Ah, uh, sorry, I ended up winning so easily. Yes, yeah, because you're a bullshit power. That's right, I totally forgot that Nagito is the ultimate lucky student. <laughs> So I take second place, that's fine. I was getting bored of always being on top. Huh? It's decided you two will get a deluxe room. Now then, regarding the third winner... <laughs> ah, it's me! I will be resting in the standard room! Damn right. Me and Kazuichi are next. Man. Sit. So I get a crummy room, huh? Well, it's better than room to someone. <laughs> that's unfortunate, Hajime. You can rest in the lounge, but try not to catch a cold. Hey. Hey, how about you Grape House girls? Did you all pick your rooms as well? Yep, we did. We had a brief discussion and settled things smoothly. Sonia and I have the deluxe rooms, and apparently Akane wants one of the crummy rooms. Huh? huh? Why did you choose the crummy room? There's still a standard room left over. Not like that. It's good enough for me. You guys might think it's pretty crabby, but it's a palace compared to my home. Um... So there's a standard room and a crummy room left. <laughs> Hajime, if you would like, please use one of them. Huh? Hey, hey. You can't do that! Oh, why not? Oh. I, I mean, it's dangerous. Hajime might be the traitor, you know. Um, what are you saying? Miss Sonia? What am I, uh, huh? Um, we haven't doubted Hajime at all. Like... Even I don't think he's trying to trick us. <laughs> it seems you're the only one who thought Hajime is suspicious. Hey. Really, of all people, you're gonna say that? You're really gonna say that? Right? 
Ajume, you can use one of our leftover rooms. Thank you. I feel bad about using the standard room, so I'll stay in the crummy room. But even so, it really helps that I have a place to sleep. No, then it's decided we should turn in for the day. Oh, it's like, it doesn't make any sense. You don't make much sense either, Soda, my friend. And so all the guys except for me ended up staying the night on the second floor of Strawberry House. And all the girls plus my leftover selves stayed on the second floor of Grape House. Jeez, uh... just as I thought, I was forgotten. Well, I'm used to it after all. <laughs> I don't like that. She was laughing. So this is the second floor of Grape House. <laughs> Choosing Grape House was definitely a good decision. Hmm? What do you mean? Um. You see, Strawberry House is a quadrilateral, but a Grape House is hexagonal. <laughs> that means this place is far more spacious. It is quite a good bargain. For a princess, you sure do think about petty stuff. Sleepy. Uh, so sleepy. The deluxe rooms are the two rooms at the far back, right? Is it okay if we go already? The two rooms at the front are the crummy run room. I cannot talk today. The two rooms at the front are the crummy rooms, right? Hajime, use the room next to the lounge. So the standard room across from the lounge will remain unoccupied. I shall prepare nameplates for our rooms later. I shall also include portraits of everyone's face. You don't really need to draw our faces, but the nameplates might be a good idea. And good night. After reaching the limits of her sleepiness, Chiaki staggered over to her deluxe room. Now then, I shall retire for the evening as well. Good night, everyone. <laughs> night. See you tomorrow. After exchanging good nights, everyone went into their guest rooms. I should get some sleep too. Um, I think I was assigned the crummy room that's next to the lounge. Yeah, yeah, I believe we were. And I guess that's where we'll go then. That's right. I still didn't get that blasted sticker from the strawberry house. I should have went upstairs to grab it while we were back there. I hope it's still there in the morning. This is a surprisingly shabby guest room. It's a little cold in here. The draft coming from the door is making me hungry. But I shouldn't be... Or I shouldn't be talking like that. For now, I need to endure it no matter what. No matter what happens, I will definitely prevent a killing from happening. I won't let Monokuma get what he wants. Forcing us to kill the bugger? Beep boop 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 dot dot dot. Weird faces! I'm out of ideas! This concludes the Monokuma Theater of Morris Code Edition! Oh. Okay then, Monokuma. Anyways, Meisters, that's what we'll leave off today. If you did enjoy the video, as always, do leave a like on the video, and subscribe to my channel if you've yet to, and join the Academy today for more videos just like this one. Friends, Meisters, peace out. I'll see you in a future video.